stage. Per yeah, se. I think we are confident. I mean, the data we have are robust, are solid. Um, again, starting from the animal model to the phase two, phase three. So we think that we have a, a solid body of evidence on Givinostat, mm -hmm. and we are optimistic. We think that these are really, you know, solid data, strong evidence. So we are so excited to work with the community here to exchange the results, really to also to have a, a, a very, um, uh, you know, solid scientific uh, uh, conversation with everybody, with the, the, with the, the, the community here. And I think the opportunity here at the Congress, like MDA, is great. It's exactly the right place to have the scientific discussion and really get feedback also from the community. So we are very optimistic. I think that the feeling we have is, is positive, and uh, you know we're waiting for 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 for, for the decision. Yeah. Givinostat is a, is so-called inhibitor of the uh, HDAC. HDAC is an enzyme. It's histone deacetylase. You know, sometimes the enzymes are, are called as an acronym, so it's a long name. Histone uh, deacetylase. It's an enzyme that in, in, in muscle cells uh, is regulated by, by uh, dystrophin. So uh, um, it's an enzyme uh, that uh, works at, at the cellular level uh, to, um, uh, to help or to, to, to uh, regulate the gene expression. So when, when you have no dystrophin, like for example in, in, uh, in Duchenne, uh, it's completely deregulated. So the enzyme is overactive. And the overactivity of uh, the histone deacetylase or the HDAC uh, it contributes to the cascade of events, of pathological events you see in Duchenne. Um, so, uh, you know, all the, the muscle damage you have, the muscle degeneration, the inflammation, are all, um, uh, you know, um, the, uh, caused by, by several mechanisms, including the HDAC uh, overactivity. Mm. So, Givinostat inhibits this overactivity. So, it's able to you know, reduce the muscle damage, is able to reduce the fibrotic tissue deposition, the fat deposition, also to increase uh, the muscle mass, you know, the, the, through the myogenesis. Mm -hmm. So all these events lead to slowdown of disease damage, this is deterioration, and potentially to slow down to disease progression. Mm -hmm. So this is really the, the multifactorial mechanism of action of Givinostat. I think that, uh, the, you know, the, the, we, are, we, are, we are here really to, to work with the community, mm -hmm. to understand their needs, to understand um, the, the, also the unmet needs, as you are saying, really to be, have an opportunity to continue in our, with our research, to, to have more data, to have more evidence for the community. Uh, in addition to the posters I was mentioned earlier, and again, thanks to the MDA Scientific Committee, we are doing uh, two studies um, in uh, patient, uh, non-ambulant patient, um, and also in patient, uh, you know, very small age, less than six year olds. So this is something that will contribute to add additional evidence. Uh, we wanted to really to um, uh, meet the, the, the needs of all the uh, different uh, Duchenne patients. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our, our, our contribution. This is our job. This is what we do every day, really, to add evidence to give more, 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 more clinical data to the community. And we want to work together. This is really a, a journey we're doing together with the community. Oh. Then, you know, the research continues. You know, we continue to work on research. We continue to understand more about the, the drug, about the, the, the mechanism of action, about the the, the data about you know so the, the, the efficacy and safety I think that uh, you know in addition to what I said you know we are studying the non-ambulant population now the clinical trials just started uh, we have a plan to start also a, a, plan, a trial in very small children which is also a population very 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 with higher met need we continue to also with our long-term um, study uh, with our long-term um, uh, you know um, uh, trial in order to accumulate more evidence in terms of efficacy in terms of safety this is basically what we do I mean this is really our long-term commitment uh, working with the community. And I, I think that the community will appreciate that because it's, it's, it's something that we do together. And, uh, you know, we have a scientific dialogue every day yeah. with, with the community here and we wanted to continue like that.